Condor, and welcome to the Sheldon Online Music Academy. We're here at the beautiful Sheldon Theater here in St. Louis. And I'm going to talk in this video about jazz guitar and some things that will help you build your skills as a guitarist so that you can deal with all the rhythms and the vocabularies and the harmonies of jazz. Let's start with rhythm. We're going to have a conversation about swing. You hear that a lot in jazz lessons where they talk about swing all the time. It's a rhythmic concept. And we're going to kind of discuss it in a way where we'll talk about what it is technically, and then we'll talk about the feel aspect. So a swing is based off of a triplet figure. If you know triplets, one and a two and a three and a four and a, it's easy to just take out the middle triplet note, the eighth note, and you get this. One and a two and a three and a four and. That's also known as a shuffle, and you hear that a lot in blues and rock. But in jazz, they call it swing. And the thing about it is that that's the technical side of it. Then there's this kind of visceral side of it, this feel thing that people talk about swing like it's something that you either have or you don't have. And I don't really buy into that. I think anyone can develop their sense of rhythm. I feel all humans have an innate sense of rhythm inside. It's just a matter of connecting with it. So I'm going to show you an exercise to connect with your inner rhythm, with your inner swing, and it's going to help your playing rhythmically so when you play jazz, you, you find that swing, you find that groove, they call it. So let, let me demonstrate with a metronome. I got this one here. This is good and loud, and it's set at 100. So we're going to make those quarter notes. That's the beat. Three, four, one, two, three, four. And practicing with a metronome, of course, is great for your time. You've got this clock that you're relating to and syncing up with. And you can do anything with it, like running scales. Now I'm playing this scale in a swing feel. Now let me show you something. This metronome has subdivisions on it, meaning that I can actually put a triplet figure with the middle triplet missing, and it sounds like this. That's the swing or the shuffle triplet figure. Now, it's rhythmically accurate, but it's a little stiff. It's a little, like, too accurate. And so what I'm going to do here is put it back to take out the subdivision we're going to do something where I'm going to set the metronome. It was at 100. I'm going to set it at 50. That's exactly half. And in doing that, here it is at 50. We're going to make the clicks, instead of the, the beat and the quarter note, we're going to make the clicks 2 and 4 out of the bar. So we were counting 1, 2, 3, and 4. We're going to make that just 2 and 4. And here's how you do it. Two, four, two, four, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, one, two. So what I just did is kind of flipped our heads around. And now we've got this metronome clicking on two and four that's known as the backbeat in music in all styles. And it gives it a little bit more of a feel. Check this out. there is that there's less click going on. There's less for me to lock into. So it's kind of on me to create the rhythm. And that's what helps you find your own inner sense of rhythm and swing, because it's, it's up to you to kind of figure out how to sync up with that when it's doing less clicks, giving you less information, if you will. So you can do lots of things with it. You don't just have to do scales. I'm just going to play a few examples of some different things you can practice with. So like chords. I'm just doing quarter notes, but just having it set at two and four. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. Maybe we can do a rhythm. So you have that one. Uh, you can do 
do a jazz blues, like do more uh, chord progression. So we have one, two, Provides. just a different way to use your metronome so that it's going to help you develop this sense of swing because you're not so reliant on the metronome and every little click you would just have this click on two and four. So take that and experiment with different tempos of course that was kind of a slower medium swing and you can do fast slow anything in between and see how that's going to help you connect with your own inner sense of rhythm your own inner sense of swing. Again, I'm Matthew Von Doren. Thank you for joining us here at the Sheldon Online Music Academy.